What's up guys, it's Gold Zuko bringing you part two of my third how to build video, the modern house. And in the last video we sort of built the base of our house, now we're actually going to sort of get into uh, decorating it and customizing the inside a little bit. So first off, whatever your house needs, of course, the door. We're going to put the door here, we got the nice wooden door, and now we're going to walk inside. And um, now what we are going to do, you know, every fancy house as a fireplace so we're going to build a fireplace but first we are going to make two holes in the wall for the doorway to the garage or the dining room whatever we plan on putting over there in that next room so we're going to count one two three and we're going to destroy two blocks like so and then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side so go to the corner block count that as one and then two three and then we're going to destroy two more blocks there we go, and right here, this sort of three piece right here is where our fireplace is going to go. And what we're going to need for that is a furnace, stone bricks, and stone steps. So let's grab those. Um, got our stone steps. Where is that stone bricks at? Okay, there we go. We got our stone bricks, and we need to grab our furnace. Oops, not TNT. That's not what we need. <laughs> um, blow our whole house sky high. Okay, so we're going to put the furnace in the middle. Next, we are going to put two stone bricks next to it. And we're going to put a sort of line connecting all the way up. Actually, we're going to make a line connecting, let's say, um, let's say that, you know, that's, yeah, that's decent. Let's do that. So now we're going to get the stone stairs that we have, and we're going to put it like this. So it's facing outward towards us, and we're going to do the same for this side. And there we go, we got a really nice looking uh, fireplace. Now we are going to put one of our white blocks above the fireplace just to know that's where the roof is going to be and that's where the fireplace is going to end. So we just put like two blocks there just so we know we're going to fill that in and make our roof. Um, now I'm going to be teaching you how to make the piece de resistance. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a a um, stone spiral staircase which is going to look really awesome. What you're going to need for this is uh, any type of block and staircase that match and look the same or you know not if you like to mix and match you don't like to use the same colors uh, you don't have to but personally I think that matching the colors makes it look more professional and more elegant so I'm going to be using this white block of quartz and quartz stairs so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the corner over here the right hand side corner um, facing away from the doorway and we're going to go to the count three one two three and right here we're going to put one block one white block like so and we're gonna put another white block in front of it and um, one more white block just for the heck of it and then we're going to get our steps and we're gonna put our steps one step right here and then we are going to put another step over here and it should look like this right now. It's, it's We're just going to do this very slowly because I know it can be kind of confusing. I was kind of confused myself when I was trying to build it. Um, we're going to put next to this step, we're going to put one block. And we're going to put another block right there. And on top of that second block to the left, we're going to put another step like that. And we're going to get rid of that block underneath it. Okay. Now that we got that done, we are going to go continue this all the way upward. Um, it's sort of like a pattern. You want to make sure that the blocks are sort of elevating. So we're going to put another block next to that block, and then another block next to that block, and then we are going to get our quartz stairs and put a staircase like so right there. Um, get rid of that block. Uh, we do not need to get rid of that. Okay. Next, we're going to put another stairs or a block over there next to our it's sort of just like a pattern guys you just want to go all around and make sure that we make it to the top <laughs> um, also keep in mind that this is our roof this is where the uh, the end of the the house is going to be or the living room is going to end so we just want to kind of connect it to that okay we got that done okay now we are going to get our last stone steps or staircase and put it like that and as you can see we already got our spiral staircase which is looking very snazzy so we can walk all the way up our spiral staircase um, now we're just going to work on the the roof for this side of the house 
or the uh, the bedroom roof, I should say. Let's fill this in with our white block of choice. And let's make sure not to fill in the staircase, just because, you know, we don't want to ruin it. Um, just make sure that you fill up around it, because, you know, if you're walking up the staircase, you don't want to think about falling over there. <laughs> that would be pretty awful. Okay, so we're just going to fill up the roof completely over here. Fairly simple. And then on top of this is going to be the bedroom where we are going to just sort of make it really uh, really simplistic and really classy looking. Okay, we got that done. Over here almost. Um, so, yeah, this is going to look really nice when we're done. I already like, I really like that, um, that spiral staircase. I fancy those. I, I always wanted to live in a house with one of those. I just think it looks really cool. Okay, we got that. We got a roof for our. We got a roof for our living room slash the bed or the, the floor for our bedroom. So, we are going to continue and make the rest of this living room down here all fancy and nice. Um, over here, you know, we're gonna grab some bookshelves and we're going to put them on the wall because every fancy house has at least a few bookshelves. So. Let's get a few of those, stick them on the walls like so. You know, that looks real nice. And then we're going to grab like a couch or something. And what you need for that is some stairs or any type of stairs really. And we're going to put, let's say, put a couple stairs like this. And it kind of resembles a couch. It's really close to the fireplace so, you know, we can get our heat on. <laughs> um, now on this side, I'm trying to think, what should we build on this side? Um... I have an idea. Let's build a let's build a TV cuz you know every mansion or really fancy house has like a really big TV. So, we're going to need more bookcases and we're going to need some black wool. Um what we're going to use for that, now we're going to make it, let's say, we're going to count one block or you're going to count the window as one block, then another block next to it, so that's two and then three on the third block. You're going to put four bookshelves like so in a straight line and then you're going to get your black wall and put two by four TV right there so that's like our big screen that's our flat screen TV and then we're going to go grab another stairs and we're going to make a couch just in front of the TV so we're going to want to make it just like a cuddle couch or a cuddle sofa I'm going to make it a two yeah I'll make it a two seater so that looks pretty cool okay we got that done, and now we are going to go upstairs, and we're going to work on the um, the bedroom. And be careful, sometimes you'll fall down these staircases, you know. <laughs> That's the price of uh, being fancy, I guess. And actually, we're going to fill in this uh, hole right here, just so we don't see the... Um, so Just so we don't see the, the living room from the stairs. So we're going to fill that up. It shouldn't be very difficult, just fill it up like so. And then we're going to go up the stairs. Okay, we got our stairs up there, and now we're going to build the rest of this room, the base of our bedroom. And we're just going to go all the way around um, until we connect with the entire other side. Okay, oops, uh, yep, that looks good. Okay, so we're just going to do it all the way around. Um, just make sure you don't overpass like I just did towards the, um, the garage or the dining room. Oops, actually, I guess I didn't overpass. I just, yeah. <laughs> just make sure you don't put any blocks above here. This is, we're supposed to close this up a while ago, but we'll do it later. Or actually, we can just do it right now. Um, you're going to want to also close up the garage, so just do it like this. You don't have to put any fancy roof on it. That's the cool thing about, um, about modern houses. They're sort of flat on the top. That's like the roof, which I find pretty interesting. I think it looks really, uh, looks more artistic I guess so after we cover up the roof to our garage let's do that um, we're going to go work on the bedroom real quick and then we're going to go work on the outside okay there we go that is officially done our garage is done now we're going to go from this top corner again and just connect them all together and then we're going to fill in the outline of our house structure Okay, we got that done. We're going to do the same thing for this side. Just make a pillar at each of the corners and connect them until we have a perfect outline. 
Okay. Oops. So right now your house should look something like this, except so we gotta fill this up. Now we're going to fill in the walls of our bedroom here, and we're going to make it, you know, really fancy. We're gonna fill this up completely. Uh, just be sure to fill this all up, guys, and then we're gonna probably break a few blocks just to make a couple nice windows or, you know, entryways or exits to our bedroom. And let's see, there we go, got this side done, one down, two more to go. Oops, okay, I fill this up again. I was sort of thinking of like putting a bunch of glass windows in this room, but I figured, you know, that's be too much window action. We don't need that much window action. <laughs> it's like, you know, you never know, maybe that dude Her O'Brien will just pop up out of nowhere and be like, Ugh. <laughs> um, okay, fill this side up. What's that over there? Cactus. And there's the the original I built. You know, I built this before I actually made the uh, tutorial just to make sure I remembered how to build it. Okay, I'm gonna fill up our last wall. Okay, we're almost done. Now the easy part is the decorating. Oh, actually, I totally forgot about the roof. We gotta do the roof too, guys. Sorry about that. Forgot about it. <laughs> um, okay. That is done. Now the roof. Now, how you're gonna do the roof, you're just gonna get the corner block right here, and you're gonna put one block next to it like so, and you're just gonna go all the way around. It's fairly simple. Pretty much how you would do any other house roof in uh, Minecraft. We're just gonna go all the way around like a giant crazy square okay sort of like those uh, optical illusions you know they like they're usually black and white and they're really swirly but when you like look at them it kinda trips you out <laughs> I don't know those are pretty weird that's what this reminds me of whenever I'm like building a house and I go in a circular motion it just reminds me of like those really weird optical illusions okay so we are almost done oops alrighty we got that done. Now we are going to build inside. And it's really dark, as you can see. I just closed up the only light source in this, in our bedroom. Now I'm going to, we're going to add a couple windows. We're going to go to this corner over here, the one completely diagonal from the staircase. And on this corner, we're going to get rid of this wall right here. We're going to count three up. So that's three, and we're going to get a piece of wood. So you can either use uh, one of these two pieces of wood. You can use this light brown wood or this dark brown. I'm going to be using the dark brown even though it's more difficult to find in survival mode so we're going to just fill this hole up with a dark brown and we're going to get our glass, our glass panes and we're going to grab our glass panes and we are going to break um, let's say one, two, we're going to make it three by three so just count three, three up and then three to the the left and we're going to finish by making these really big windows right here okay that looks really cool so we got our big windows we're gonna do the same thing for this side we're gonna skip one corner and we're going to make this a wooden pillar oops I did it too high so we're gonna have to fill that up again we're going to make it three high for the wooden pillar and then we're gonna make another window right here three three by three so three wide and three high alrighty so we got that down okay that's looking pretty nice alright now we got two giant windows that look really fancy now we're gonna get our bed we're gonna put our bed in here and we are going to get our bed right here um, where should we put our bed guys where do you think would be a good spot I'm thinking let's say right here right in the middle we're gonna put our bed right there and then we're going to put a couple torches in here just to make sure our house is you know fairly nicely lit um, gonna put one torch at each of the corners like this and then we are going to get let's let's make like a let's make a table over here a crafting table put two crafting tables right here those will be the dressers and then we will get let's say um, you know, I think that's, that's pretty good for now. I think we're done up here. <clears throat> Actually, you know, let's grab some paintings. Let's put some paintings up here and make it re look really fancy. Um, 
one nice one. That one, oh, this one's pretty nice. We'll leave that one up here and then put another one in the middle. Oh, wow, the big painting. All right, that looks awesome. So we put the big painting over there. We're going to go downstairs and fill this up with a couple of <clears throat> torches at each of the corners like we did upstairs. So let's go each of the four corners, put a torch. <clears throat> okay, now let's get... Hmm, do we need a, more pictures in here, picture frames? Uh, let's put one back here. Okay, that looks good. And now we are going to go in here. And as you can see, there's still grass in here. This is where our uh, our garage was going to be. And how we're going to put in the garage, we're going to make it brick. If you have brick, but if you don't, that's cool. You could use cobblestone or stone bricks, whichever you prefer. But I think brick will look really cool inside the garage. So I'm going to put brick in here. And we're going to fill this up nicely with bricks. I don't know why, I just, I think the red and the white kind of, kind of matches the, the sort of scheme of the house, so I'm just going to put bricks in here. And this is where we drive our Minecraft car, which I have yet to build. But, you know, it'll be there eventually, we'll find it. It'll be the Minecraft Porsche, or the Minecraft Lamborghini. Okay, let's fill this, get rid of these blocks. Why do you torment us, dirt? Why can't you just go away? Oops, I made a hole. I did not mean to make a hole over there. Okay. Oh, well. Let the light in. The light! Okay. Um, fill this all up with brick. And then we're going to put a couple torches in here. Or we can use glowstone. I don't know if you guys have any glowstone. We could also use glowstone in here. Um... So, I don't know if you have glowstone, but I'm just going to put torches just, just for everyone's sake, since more people have torches. Okay, now we got a nice garage. It looks really well lit. We got our house right there. It looks very elegant. has that nice wood trim up there. It's pretty random, but it still looks really cool. Um, let's see. I think we should make this... Now that's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to put the uh, walkway towards our house. Let's close this door up, and we're going to do this with, let's say, we're going to do this with some stone bricks. So let's grab some stone bricks. We're going to count, let's say, two, three, four, five, six, seven, since seven is the perfect number. Okay, we got seven right there for the walkway, and then we're going to put like a wooden, a wooden deck out here. We're just going to go to the corner, we're going to break off this grass and we're going to count let's say we're going to count three three long and then we're going to count just go all the way across and connect it until we get to this first window that's sh that should be good for a nice deck for our house and did I do that right actually we're going to make it four let's make it four wide okay that looks pretty good or four long I should say okay let's break this dirt up again our nemesis the dirt <laughs> um, okay, let's clear that up. And we're almost done, guys. We just need to get rid of this dirt. And this is like a nice little patio for our modern house, since most modern houses have wooden decks. And now we're going to grab a couple torches, put a torch right here. Oops, did not mean to do that. Um, we're going to get, fix that real quick. Okay, now we're going to put a torch right here, and a torch right here. And, we're going to get a couple of, couple of bushes or leaves. I like these dark ones the best. They look, I think they look more like a bush than an actual tree. So, I'm going to, uh, put two bushes right here, and two bushes right here. And that looks pretty good. And there you have it, guys. We have our modern house. Uh, it looks really nice. Even from here, the garage looks really, it looks pretty realistic, I think. So, um, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe if you aren't already. So, thanks again, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.